Hey everybody, it's Matt from the house and in this fresh out of the box, we're gonna be checking out the Globe Mahalo Plus. Let's check these things out. Fresh. Fresh. Okay, so the Mahalo Plus, this is Mark Appleyard's second shoe. It's kind of a take on his first shoe, which still exists in the lineup, but they wanted to do kind of like a souped up version. Basically, I've got a little bit different styling on the toe there, it kind of has that soccer style toe. And we also have got that nice big rubber Ollie patch on the side for extra durability. And it's gonna give you a little bit more grip for your Ollies as well. And then on the inside, we've got that nice big thick shock bed insole. All right, let's get these things on and see how they feel. Man, right off the bat, loving the fit of these things. These things fit my foot almost too perfect. So they do fit a little snug right across the bottom lace, which I thought they were going to, but honestly, they don't fit as tight as I thought they were. Looking at the shoe from the side and looking at the silhouette, I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot tighter, but it actually is going right down and really hugging my foot, kind of right where my arch starts, right around to behind where my pinky toe is by the ball of my foot on the outside. So I'm super excited to go skate these things because they fit my foot amazing, fresh out of the box. See, I could use both parts, I just can't do them together. Let's pretend I did. <laughs> The Globe Mahalo Plus red shoes. Definitely uh, tired me out trying to get some tricks. The shoes are great. Honestly, fit super, super well. The one thing I do have to say though is after about five, 10 minutes of skating in them, on my left foot, it's a little bit bigger than my right foot. And I was noticing a little bit of that pressure on my pinky toe. I think it's something that's gonna break in over time. We'll just have to see over the next week. The right shoe fits amazing. Uh, wear on it, pretty standard. That definitely that rubber pad on the side definitely takes up a lot when you're just ollieing. A lot of that wear and tear is right in that one spot, right on the side of your foot. So you can see there's a little bit of scuffs on the toe there from trying those kick flips over and over and over again. Otherwise, it's actually not too bad. Fit wise, fantastic. Cushioning wise, super, super great. Those shock beds in there, I 100% back those, especially after trying them in the surplus. And obviously it's a very, very similar sole and that same insole inside the Mahalo Plus. Nice and cushy, even though it's a nice thin vulcanized shoe where you get lots of good board feel, you're definitely still getting that big, big cushioning. We're gonna wear these things around for seven days, break them in, hopefully that one spot will break in a little bit better for me. And we'll see how they do on day seven.
land sideways. Short. Okay, day seven on the Mahalo Plus. Uh, today got cut short a little bit because I tweaked the heck out of my shoulder. Yeah, doesn't feel good at all, but it was kind of towards the end of the day and I did get enough skating in, which is always good. And the Mahalo Plus, awesome shoes. Like I said, on day one, these things fit amazing. That one little problem I was having with my toe on the left, you know, after a little bit, that disappeared probably about two hours after I left the skate park, just wearing the shoes around, walking around in them. But these things fit amazing. And I've always said, I'm not a guy that likes vulcanized soles that much. I really like the cup soles, but I would 100% skate this shoe on the regular. It fits and feels that good. And then of course that shock bed insole, super, super cushy, crazy, crazy good feel. And wear and tear is actually not bad. Obviously that huge rubber pad on the side did its job. You can see some spots on there where it was definitely, you know, obviously getting somewhere, but it's worn down very, very little. It almost looks like it's brand new other than that kind of discolored white area where you can just see where the seams are underneath and then up on the toe pretty standard wear there the suede still holding up well but awesome awesome shoes highly highly suggest them and i did wear these things in a ten and a half my foot is usually a ten and a half we'll leave a link in the description to a video about my foot and how it measures up to the size charts maybe it can help you figure out exactly what size shoe you wear but again pretty true to fit if you got any questions about the Mahalos or any of the other Globe shoes that we have at thehouse.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We obviously want to make sure we get you some rad gear, but most importantly, we want to make sure it's actually going to fit you and fit your feet, fit your skating style. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And grab yourself a pair of the Globe Mahalo Plus skate shoes and get out and ride. So any day of riding is a good day of riding.